Well, my dad taught here for 25 years. It's uh, always had a, uh, a place in my heart. Um, I was really drawn to the type of athletes that, you know, type of student athletes that are here. I think that uh, Minot's always had a reputation in the Northern Sun for being kind of humble, gritty, and hardworking. And I think uh, those are my kind of kids, my kind of athletes. So that was definitely a draw. And then, of course, just the regionality. So can you talk a little bit about maybe what Andy said he was looking for when he was interviewing you? Because, I mean, the last coach, I mean, it wasn't awful. I mean, he was three mm -hmm. games over 500. He was making the tournament. But, I mean, what's he really looking for? I think, um, I mean, everyone talks about culture, right? I think, uh, you know, obviously uh, it's been a, a winning program in the last couple of years. Um, Bill Triplett and Gary Kibbe both done a good job. On, on the field when it comes to just competing in conference. I think uh, as much as anything, um, Andy was looking for uh, a continuation of, of what's strong here in terms of being competitive, but also looking to take a jump and be a, um, make sure the kids are having a, you know, a, a memorable and positive experience. So it's, I mean, everyone talks about you know, family atmosphere and culture and that kind of things, and I think uh, you just have to walk the walk and, and really try to build that, a culture where kids are really taking care of one another. Um, and see if we can make that, that next step, you know, ideally finishing you know, top of the conference, like to emulate what, uh, what baseball and others have done. Uh, and I think that's possible here. Having coached against Minot State out of Augustana, what have you kind of learned about this team over the years? What type of team are you getting? Well, I mentioned the, the grit. Uh, and people would joke, but uh, you go up 6 nothing on, on Minot, they'll, they'll score four the next inning. Uh, obviously, the offensive talent's there, um, very athletic group. Really nice balance in terms of power and speed. Um, I think, uh, you know, looking ahead, it's uh, you knew you were going to be a slugfest against Minot, right? Because of the offense, um, they can defend fairly well. Um, but that was, you know, not our experience when I was at Augustana competing against Minot. You knew we were in for for a fight. Uh, they competed hard every pitch. So I think there's, um, you know, there are th things in terms of the approach and the way the kids play the game uh, that. Uh, that are really strong as far as taking the next step. I think we've got to lower our ERA. Um, and that's, you know, that's, you do that a couple different ways. I think uh, it starts with recruiting, but also seeing if we can, you know, improve things mechanically and, and even scouting and game preparation. So I think those are three avenues that we get better there. But uh, just talking to a couple of the athletes um, you know, over the last couple of weeks, it clearly there's a sense that there's talent here and that there's, uh, there's room for growth. And the kids are excited about who's in the locker room and, and, uh, and where the program's headed. You mentioned you, you got the foundation of the team. Uh, just from here on, kind of what's your idea to do with it? Yeah, I really have to find out what we have exactly. Um, I've, you know, again, from the outside uh, looking in and scouting and preparing for Mana as an opponent, uh, you're really looking at you know, probably 11, 12 kids. Uh, we have another 13 on the roster that I have no, absolutely nothing about. So part is just seeing what, what's there. Um, you know, the incoming 19. Commits. I, I haven't seen a lot of those kids play, so I still have a lot of assessing to do, um, kind of you know, just weighing and measuring you know, what we have right now, um, and then trying to get it to, to mesh. Um, I think you know, looking at uh, you know the returners um, again, there's really nice balance. Uh, I know it, it seems like the, the infield's fairly intact. Um, you know, I think uh, there's talent in the circle. I think it's just a matter of you know, working. You know, combinations of pitchers and trying to create contrast in our staff and of course seeing the, the kids that are here. So uh, it's hard to comment on, on individuals and what that lineup will look like until you really get them into practice and take a look at our, our fall um, you know, non-conference games, that kind of thing. Just you know, go play the big dogs uh, down in Fargo and, and see how the kids respond and, and uh, you know, kind of set team goals from there. What do you think makes you the right choice for the job other than, oh, he was coaching in the um, you know, I feel like I've had success everywhere I've coached. Um, obviously, at Augustana, um, in travel ball as well, high school levels, um, Valley City. Um, you know, there's, I don't think it's a, a secret formula, you know, but I've always said you know, we're going to teach the game really well from the ground up, and we're going to outwork everybody. You know, and I know that's been a mantra here in the past. Um, I want to you know, continue you know, that, that work ethic. Um, but I think there's, uh, there are things I can do from a culture standpoint, from just a grassroots level, from ground zero up, I think I, I can build something special here if I just uh, you know, stick to my guns and do what's what's worked for me in the past. Yeah, I mean, as a, you were a new recruiting coordinator down there at Alton, I mean, what's your recruiting pitch to the players here at Montana? How's your recruiting 
Yeah, you know, and, and on the travel ball, you know, coaching travel ball and being on the other side of it too, it's all about fit. Uh, you really, it's, it's trying to get uh, the kids to really look past the surface, the superficial, and really imagine themselves in a place for four years or t two years for, for a, a JUCO transfer. Really kind of uh, you know, think about what that experience can be and get them excited about that. So as far as, um, you know, Augustana, a lot of, I think, seven or eight kids in our, our roster last year have actually played for me um, from travel ball level at one point in time. So I was able to pull out of, uh, do a lot of recruiting in Minnesota. I think that's a little tougher with distance here. Uh, I also grew up in Winnipeg and eager to uh, go north of the border and, and find those, those kinds of kids. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's really about finding kids that fit your culture and, and obviously talent. Um, I know some people will complain about the difficulty of finding kids. And every time I go recruit, I'm always struck about how many good ball players there are out there. They're out there. I just think it's like we expect our kids to outwork the competition. And I expect to outwork a lot of my competition when it comes to recruiting. I don't think there's a secret to it. I think you just have to get out, pound the pavement, talk to people, um, but find the right kids for your culture. Um, a lot. I've only talked to a couple. I think they're, I think like any team, they're excited uh, for for any you know, new season. I think there's always optimism. Um, you know, it says opening day is the best day. It's uh, everyone's zero zero and and uh, everyone's filled with optimism. So I think uh, there will be a feeling out period. There always is, um, and I'm just really eager to get kids on campus and and make them feel welcome. I think the first part of building a, a strong culture is really. You know, um, Creating that, that sense of uh, uh, social safety, right, where kids feel like you have their back and, and vice versa, and they really, um, older can welcome the younger and, and create a sense of belonging, a sense of family. So that's really the first task when kids arrive, and I'm eager to you know, get that started. How much of an advantage is it for your familiarity within the region and in the conference when you're getting started here? Uh, it's, I think it's a huge advantage uh, on, on game day. Um, and, and also, I think it's an advantage uh, just having recruited in the area. Um, I know a lot of the kids out there, you know, both in JUCOs and, you know, the, the 20s, the, the 21s, and so on. So I think it will help me in terms of recruiting, hit the ground running. Uh, and then when it comes to game day, you know, I mean, it, last year at Augustana, we played um, Winona seven times. Uh, it got to the point, talking to Greg Jones, their coach, like, I normally I go home and look over notes, but at this point, you know, why bother? Uh, I think there is that element. We know each other so well. Um, but having kind of taken the lead on game planning for really all of our opponents the last three years, um, that will definitely help. Um, I, I'm eager to, I'm eager to you know, face different teams and, and try to um, you know, attack weaknesses and that kind of thing and, and take advantage of our strengths. Um, but of course, we can find out what those strengths are and, and uh, you know, how we can match up. You know, that's, that's one of the fun parts about game day, so eager to do that.